Hey, what's up you guys? Hope you're doing awesome. It is such a beautiful day out here in Montreal. It's probably the nicest day we've had all year round. By the way, my name is Luca. I'm a kettlebell, Russian kettlebell specialist and expert. And today I want to talk to you about the kettlebell swing. Now the kettlebell swing is probably the most basic movement that you could do with kettlebells. But it's super important that you learn this basic move before you learn other more advanced uh, movements. So why the kettlebell swing? Why am I t uh, showing you this movement today? So for me, of all my experience as a fitness professional and as a teacher um, and training, so I've been training for about 10 years and teaching for about five. So out of, out of all those years, out of all the stuff that I've been through, I've done uh, bodybuilding, HIIT training, uh, all types of strength training, uh, all types of cardio training, and all of my experience, this uh, exercise has been one of the most beneficial that I have found for myself and my clients. So why is the kettlebell swing such a powerful arsenal in your toolbox, in your fitness training? So uh, number one I'd say is that you're basically taking care of many things at once. You're uh, training your endurance your uh, cardio to a certain extent and your strength so basically uh, you're doing cardio and strength training at the same time you're, you're killing two birds with the same stone uh, another thing is that you're training what is the hip extension so a hip extension is the most um, used movement in all sports so in all sports you're having this strong hip extension from the hip when you think about that you're, uh, you look at uh, sprinting, running, jumping, kicking, punching, throwing, all those movements originate from the hips. And it's a force that you're producing uh, from the ground, through your feet, into your hips, and it is projecting usually forward. So that is why the kettlebell swing is such a powerful movement and a, a tool, is that you're training that explosiveness. And not many people uh, know how to do that besides uh, maybe uh, box jumps or um, other movements with the barbell. But what's cool about the kettlebell, another thing is that it's compact, it's portable, and you see that I'm at the park right now, I'm not at the gym, I don't need to go to a gym, I can take my, carry around my kettlebell and bring it wherever I want and basically train anywhere and any time. So that's what's so fantastic about it. It's portable, it's efficient, and it's very practical for people. So now let's get to the, uh, the main event, the kettlebell swing. So how do you perform the kettlebell swing? Number one is that you have to learn what's called the uh, hard style plank, which is gonna be the lockout out of your uh, swing, and also your deadlift, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So in the plank, I could do a standing plank or I could do it uh, horizontally on the floor, so when you do that, what you want to do is you want to basically be contracting all your muscles from the neck down. So we're going to start off with your abs and your glutes, both contracting together. And the shoulders must be pulled down strongly so you're engaging your lats. So abs, glutes, lats, fists, you're going to be making white knuckle fists really strongly. And also, you're going to be contracting your quads by pulling up your kneecaps so this is gonna lock in and zip everything up together from starting from your feet and you're gonna root down your feet into the floor push your feet into the floor grip the deck with your toes contract your quads your glutes your abs your lats and your hands and you're gonna think about getting tall so this is kind of like a standing plank so this plank is super useful because it teaches you how to generate tension throughout your entire body, which is what we're going to apply in the um, deadlift and in the swing in a few minutes. So next, learning how to do a deadlift. Deadlift, unlike a squat, when you're thinking about squatting, you're thinking about um, basically dropping down, flexing your knees and flexing your hips simultaneously and dropping down into a squat. But the hinge is very different. The hinge happens mostly from the hips. So you're going to be looking forward, keeping a straight back, and pushing your hips back like so. 
So notice that my shins stay practically vertical at this point and when I shoot my hips back, I feel that the weight will be transferred over to my heels. So that's pretty important. Doesn't mean that my toes are lifting off, but um, I'd say 60% of the weight is gonna be transfer transferred over to my heels. So one, one more time with a straight back, hips go back and I stand up and I plank. So hips back, stand up and plank. So you're contracting and zipping everything up together at the same time. Now let's apply this hinge and plank into a deadlift. Show you how to do that. So here's my kettlebell, 24 kilos. What I want to do is basically get over top the kettlebell. I'm going to make sure that my uh, ankles form a line between the handle. So just so you can see from this standpoint, I'm getting directly over top the kettlebell. So the handle forms a line between my ankles, like I said, okay? That is the setup. Now I'm gonna have my arms glued to my body. So my elbows and my forearms are stuck to my rib cage like this. And what I'm gonna do is reach down for the kettlebell. Reach down, hinge my hips, reach down, look a few feet ahead of me. So I don't wanna be looking up like this. A lot of people make the mistake of overextending their necks in the deadlift and in the swing. Don't wanna do that. You wanna keep your spine neutral. So your neck is a part of your spine. So keep your neck straight. Look a few feet ahead of you. You can have a slight extension, that's okay. Grab the bell, keep the bell close to you. You wanna be pulling it in as you lift off. Okay, one more time. Hinge back, grab the handle. So I'm gonna push through my feet to stand up. And I'm gonna plank, okay? At no point should the kettlebell basically get away from my body. You don't wanna do that. You wanna pull it in towards you strongly so your forearms uh, remain in contact with your torso. Hips back, and I set down the kettlebell exactly where I picked it up. That's super important. So practice this movement until you become uh, proficient in the deadlift. Then you could learn the swing. The swing is the same movement pattern, is exactly the same basic sequence, except it's fast, it's explosive, it's aggressive, and it has spirit. So when you're gonna swing, here's how you set up. Before starting to swing, you're gonna do what's called a hike pass. So the kettlebell is gonna be, I'd say, uh, one foot away from your body. You're gonna notice it might be too close, it might be too far, at no point should you um, change your position of your back. That's really important, safety first when you're doing these movements. So maintain the position of your back, that's super important. So my stance is fairly uh, moderately wide, as it was in the deadlift. It's, uh, I would say, wider than my shoulders, wider than the squat. My feet are pointed out about 30 degrees outwards. So what I'm gonna do is set up for my swing. I'm gonna hinge back and do what's called a hike pass. So I grab onto my handle, force my shoulders down away from my ears, engage my lats, brace my abs, and I'm gonna basically throw the kettlebell back behind me. So my forearms make contact with my inner thighs like this, hike, like so. Then I'm gonna passively let the kettlebell come forward and I'm gonna set it back down exactly at the same spot. Okay, so watch. Grab the bell. Just like that. So notice that I'm actively pulling in the kettlebell, almost like I wanna throw it back behind me, aiming for a target. And I passively let it swing forward on its own and I set the kettlebell back down exactly where I picked it up. So that's the first step. Next step, once you hike past the bell, that's your chance basically to stand up. It's kind of like a cue. You're gonna hit your thighs, boom. Once you do that, you're gonna basically stand up in a plank. And this has to be done quickly and fast. Don't try to lift the kettlebell up. Just hook it with your fingers. 
let your arms basically passively come forward like in the hike pass, but just let your hips do all the work. You're, so at the top, you're gonna focus on this plank, this lockout, by bracing your abs, squeezing your glutes, pulling up your kneecaps, keeping your shoulders down. Don't let the kettlebell go higher than your chest. As a matter of fact, don't worry how high the kettlebell goes. It's not the point. Just worry about your posture. Worry about how tall you get. Think of maintaining a straight line with your body. So watch how I perform this. I'm gonna match the uh, extension with a breath, with a power breath. So it's gonna be quick, like that. Watch. Awesome. So as you noticed, when the kettlebell was coming up, it was floating. So you wanna focus on three things. Chopping your hips back, popping your hips forward, and letting the kettlebell float up. On the way down, play chicken. Let the kettlebell come back down and wait for it until it comes really close to your groin. The cue should be your basically your forearms or your elbows connecting your torso before you guide it back between your legs. So another thing you could want to consider, the kettlebell is not a one to count movement. So what I mean by that, it's not a one, two, one, two, it's actually a four count move. So it goes like this, one, two, three, four. So that's the way you want to consider the kettlebell swing. Hope you found this video really helpful. Um, this is my passion. So as you can tell, I get pretty excited and pretty into it when I talk about it. I've been doing this for a little bit right now. We're doing this uh, really nice kettlebell workshop. It's going to be coming up this Saturday. So I recommend if you want to learn more, get into depth and uh, become better at the swing because you should. Come this Saturday to our workshop. You won't regret it. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna have an awesome time and uh, you're gonna get to learn from the best. So again, guys, signing off and um, I catch you next time. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to drop me a line anytime, okay? Peace out.